Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Islam Safi and today I'm going to talk about how to build a time machine and grandfather paradox. You have always watched films, cartoons, videos about time traveling, so just to be clear, scientists say that time traveling is to travel through the fourth dimension, time. So, Stephen Hawking has said that nothing is flat and solid. It means that if you look closely at anything, you will see holes and cracks. And Stephen Hawking believes that also in time, there are these kind of holes. Ladies and gentlemen, the holes that Stephen Hawking is talking about are very small, smaller than atoms. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the quantum foam. Going back to the movies, we keep seeing time machines, but honestly, have you ever asked yourself, how can we build it? That's why Stephen Hawking said that the main idea is to build a machine which is going to catch a hole in time and expand it many million of times, enough for a human to access. I'm sorry to say it, but the answer is no. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about the grandfather paradox. Let's imagine that you invented this time machine and you travel to the date of birth of your grandfather Pew! and you kill him. So there will be no existence of your father. Consequently, there will be no existence of you. So who invented this time machine? That's why we can say that traveling to the past is impossible. In the end, I want to mention something. Time traveling is not impossible. And I'm sure that you are asking why this time machine is not invented yet. But remember this, catching a hole in time, which is very small, is very difficult. That's why we need high technology to invent this kind of machine. And the grandfather paradox is the best example, which proved that traveling to the past is very complicated. Whoa, 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 before you go, remember this, nothing is impossible if you truly believe in science.